sign. And this is a big deal. Congratulations to everybody in the room. This means a lot. But I'm going to do what I can with the authority I have to act. The rest of you, of course, need to keep putting pressure on Congress to pass federal legislation that resolves this problem once and for all. All right. Thank you. Joe Biden starting his presidency with a flurry of executive orders covering everything from climate change, transgender members of the military, immigration, manufacturing, and the coronavirus pandemic. Much has been made of these actions rolling back executive orders from the Trump presidency. But in fact, this is nothing new. Barack Obama and George W. Bush both signed over 200 executive orders. And if you have a president who's willing to take aggressive action using executive orders, you can get a lot done. Joe Biden taking steps to restore some of the main policies of the Obama era. Democratic strategists are optimistic about the measures taken. So on things like immigration, on things like climate change, on things like student loan reform, I think we should expect like Biden to take some pretty quick uh, and effective actions to mitigate uh, the problems that are being faced by the American people. Experts warn, however, while this might bring Biden praise now, lasting change must be made through Congress. The ultimate problem here, though, is that only Congress has the ability to make a law that will stick, that won't be subject to the proverbial tennis match back and forth between a Republican president and a Democratic president.